Hi guys, Dave Laird again. Happy Home Food Friday and uh, as I always say, can't tell me on a Friday when can you so. Cheers guys. Just uh, let you know what I've been up to today. Um, I came up with the idea today to make a homemade carboy. Um, a large demi which I'm waiting to look at it uh, for the water um, cooler at work. So I uh, managed to pick one up, snaffle one. This is the answer. Um, they're eight and a half litres these, so what I've done, I've uh, left the original seal on, and I've just to see there, I've just put a 24mm hole saw in there, straight through, so it's a full seal. Um, just there uh, a few birds, so I've just uh, trimmed on my knife, and uh, a bit of my paper, and there's something thing out, and then uh, that's it, so it's gonna, I've just marked it as well. Uh, 5, 10, 15 litres. I'm going to do some um, rhubarb wine, so I'm going to use, use that for it um, recipe. And uh, just uh, fit your bung in. You see your bung in. Um, just got a nice tight fit. I think about 24mm from the right. And just to make sure you create the same, just you can feel it. Yeah, coming out there. So it's a case of doing that. And uh, putting your air lock in. Some vodka or whatever. Well, thing to use boil water or sanitizer, and uh, away you go. So, uh, for nothing, I think it's pretty good that. So, uh, just for that, I'm going to give it a go this week, this weekend. Um, just the one on the bottom, it says, um, approved for water use only. I mean, it's fully, fully sanitized, so uh, I'm not saying, but I'll be sanitizing it myself. Um, just make sure when you uh, put the hole in, you little bits of plastic inside, it'll be a real good wash, a couple of time washes and uh, sanitizer and I can't be fine. So uh, a couple of days I'm going to have some, uh, hopefully, rhubarb on in there for months and it's, uh, it's not cost me anything. So uh, happy days. Right, but, uh, what else did I do? I bought a book a while back. Uh, I know I've not done kits up to now, um, but this is uh, it's called Home Brewing, Producing Your Own Beer, Wine and Cider. A guy called Kevin Forbes um, picked up a gown sent on the cheap, so I thought I'd have a look through there. There's some uh, his beer recipes all the way through his wine, his malt extract brews, right up to the full grain. So, without having too much equipment, I've just uh, uh, lost to do anything. So, what I've done, I found a recipe for rhubarb wine and uh, called an Alder this week, which is in the UK. It's uh, 69p super saver, so it's 400 grams. So I've got um, got six of those. It's going to give me just short of uh, two and a half kilograms of rhubarb. I also bought some sugar. Um, it's also saying a sachet of wine yeast, four and a half litres of water, a cup of cold black tea for tanning, and two Camden tablets. I've got all of them anyway. Um, so I'll just uh, just read a little bit and then I'll just see uh, where we go to. It says. Uh, this is a wine that would have been very familiar to country folk in the 19th century England. It is best made in the middle of May when rhubarb is at its best. Well, we're just into June, so uh, it's about the right time. Uh, I do grow some rhubarb, but there's not enough, so I bought some on the cheap, so I'm going to give that one a go. I mean, it's even better if you can um, source it uh, locally, or someone, you know, I've got some, I've got some in your garden. The method here, it says, wipe the rhubarb with a wet cloth, but do not peel. Uh, chop into small pieces and cover in sugar with a large bowl. I've got a large pan there, and I'll just boil some water in there, so it's just a sanitizer. We'll tip it out shortly. Uh, I'm going to give that one a go. Um, there's loads of recipes for rhubarb wine, and this is probably the most simple one. So uh, it's my first time, I'm going to do it. Not too much straining in this kind of oil, and I've got all the muslin bags, that kind of thing. So I'm going to give this one a go. So it says. Uh, I'll give you the ingredients, and I'm doubling up, so it says uh, Ingredients, 1.2 kilograms of rhubarb, so we'll go to 5 uh, 1.25 kilograms of sugar, again um, one point, uh, one, 5, not 1 point, 1 point 2, 5, two and a half on both the, the rhubarb and the sugar A sachet of wine yeast, I'm going to use 2 or 2 teaspoons, whatever 4 and a half litres of water, so I'll just use 9 So it's going to just going to go uh, short of uh, 10 litres there on my carboy i will use two cups of cold tea and uh, four Camden tablets with a double up everything. Um, but I'm also going to use um, the yeast nutrient as well. I'm going to put a couple of teaspoons of that in. 
I think it might just uh, help it on its way a little bit. So it says, wipe the rhubarb down with a wet cloth, but do not peel. Chop into small pieces and cover with sugar into a large bowl. That's how you use that pan. Uh, number two, leave overnight until the sugar has completely dissolved. Strain off the syrup and cover the rhubarb with water to rinse off any remaining sugar. Add this liquid to the syrup and make it to four and a half litres. Like I say, I'm doing, doing that anyway, of water. And a cup of cold black tea. So I'm going to use two, obviously. Add the wineies and tra transfer the liquid to a demijohn fit with an airlock. So you will say using the car wire for that. Um, using a hydrometer, stop fermentation using two Camden tablets from the zero re the reading reaches about 1.010, which I will do. Um, just keep checking every few days. Leave the wine to clear naturally. Siphon the wine to sterilise bottle and leave for a minimum of three months. If kept in a cool place, this wine may be stored for up to two years. Uh, it also says this wine will improve gently by keeping with age and should be a very brilliant colour. So I'm going to give it a go. Uh, nothing to lose, I've got much stuff in there. The simplest one I saw, so uh, that's what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep it short tonight. I'll do a few bits, and uh, when it's all fermented, and that, I'm going to do another video. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, happy home brew Friday, guys. Cheers. Take care, enjoy the weekend. Thanks very much.